Go ahead. I think one of my first memories of uh, Delco Mass Choir was when Betty Woodson invited me to go to Rhode Island with them as they did a concert. Honestly, I had some reservations because I had just traveled with a church group to a ski trip, and it was not the experience I had expected. So I was a little hesitant, but I had known Betty for a number of years. I knew she loved the Lord. I knew some of the members of Delco, so I went with them. It was one of the best trips ever. The music ministry was amazing. There was so much love and friendship and fellowship just in the ride to and from Rhode Island. I was so impressed, I actually came back and wrote a check to the ministry and thanked them for inviting me. Not knowing that a number of years would go by when Betty's health would deteriorate and the Lord would call her home. I was so honored and humbled when Frank um, had asked me if I would uh, consider working with Delco. It was a very bittersweet time because she passed just before Delco's 25th anniversary. Needless to say, that anniversary was difficult for all of us, but at the same time, we knew in our hearts that Betty was home with Jesus and she was rejoicing with the Lord. So it started out a little sad and teary, but by the end of the service, the Lord blessed and we just thought of where she was and her, her influence with the choir. So it's been about 13 years since then and I've been with Delco. I can honestly say they have helped me grow. They have embraced me. Uh, Brother Frank Whitfield could not be a better leader. He's, uh, he and his wife Odessa just love Delco and they love me. But honestly, just his influence, his advice, his encouragement has just helped me really grow with the ministry. The members are amazing. They're faithful. And to see the love and commitment first to the Lord and to this ministry. A few years ago, I had surgery and I was listening to some television ministries. And one of the things I took away from it was being a KFC. The particular ministry I was watching that day was from my daughter's former church in Austin, Texas, where he was talking about becoming a kingdom-focused church. But that stuck with me, and I came back after my surgery, fired up, and I said to Delco, we're gonna be a KFC. And they looked at me like I had lost my mind, because they're like, is she talking about chicken? <laughs> is like, no, from that day on, they have embraced becoming a kingdom-focused choir. And it truly is our desire to lead people to the knowledge of Jesus through our music and to build up believers. We don't sing everything. You know, we are a traditional gospel choir. Uh, everything is not for our choir, even though it may be a good you know, selection. I just ask the Lord to help lead me and guide me as to what we do, and he is doing that. I know that there are many members of the choir that pray for me and pray for the choir continuously, and for that I am so, so grateful. And if it's the Lord's will, I don't know how many more years we will go, but we're going to go with him. That's it. All right. <laughs>